What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Revit for Mechanical Design Professional Certification Preparation. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create doc system. Alright, so let's do this. So I'm going to show you how to create and edit a doc system types. And then we are also going to create and edit doc systems. Okay, so let's do this. So as you can see in this video, so we already place here our uh, air terminals, right? So I have shown you how to place an air terminals on our last video. And this time we're going to create a system doc system all right so let's do this so for you to be able to create a system for an air terminal so you need to select first an air terminal okay so let's click one of the air terminal so let's say for example i'm going to select this air terminal here so let me click that okay so if this air terminal doesn't have any system assigned yet you will only see this tab here you will only see modify air terminals and then you will see here create systems okay so if this is already part of the system so you will be able to see two green tabs here so right now we only see one contextual tab so that means this air terminal is not yet part of the system and another thing you can right click and then after that you look for browsers and then you look for system browser you click the system browser here on the system browser you will be able to see all the elements that is part of the system so as you can see there is no system for mechanical piping and electrical and if I'm going to select this air terminal you will notice that it will highlight the unassigned category here so if I'm going to ex uh, expand that it's in the mechanical category expand again it's on the supply air expand again and let's look for that air terminal which is that one okay so that is another way of checking out if an object or an element is not part of the system so you can use the system browser okay so let me just close first the system browser all right so i'm gonna select this air terminal here and then after that, I'm going to select the create systems dock. Okay, so let's click that one. So be aware that the connector should have the following parameters to behave properly in the dock system. So you should have the parameter of flow direction in and flow configuration preset. Okay, so if we're going to check the property of this air terminal, so let's check the properties of that. So these are the properties of our air terminal, the instance properties. And then if you check the type properties here, you can see here the other properties of our uh, model. Okay. So now I'm going to create a system. So select this and then let's create the system here. All right. And then we are going to put a name here. So for the system type, I'm just going to select your supply air terminal because you don't have any other choice you only have one connector for your supply air terminal okay so you only have supply air terminal there supply air system type and then for the name you can change the name if you want and then i'm going to select here system editor to open up the system ed editor after i select okay so i'm going to check that one and then i'm going to select your okay so it will open up the system editor so this is the edit doc system uh, contextual tab okay so now here since let's say i want to add these air terminals to the system you will notice here by default on our edit doc system add to system is already activated so you just need to select the air terminals that you would like to be added to the system okay so add to system is already selected so you just need to select the other air terminals that you wanted to be added to the system so i'm gonna add these air terminals okay so you can do it uh, individually or you can use a window selection all right and then after that i'm going to select here select equipment so we can select this one so let's click this okay and then we're going to select the fan coil unit that we want our air terminals to be assigned so let's say i want 
these air terminals to be assigned to this uh, equipment. So this equipment will be power up, will be the one that is uh, supplying this air terminal. So that's why select equipment. So make sure you select that equipment. So you click that. There you go. So it's now assigned to this equipment here. And then after that, just finish editing the system. So that's it. So that's how you create the system. As you can see, the color now becomes blue here. And then if I'm going to hover my pointer to one of the mechanical equipment, hover your pointer, don't click, just move your pointer over the equipment and then press tab on your keyboard just once, just press it once. There you go. It will highlight the system on that uh, mechanical equipment and then you click so once you click you'll be able to see here the system equipment the name of the system the flow which is based on our air terminals and another thing if we are going back again to our system browser right click browsers system browser so just click that so you will notice that we already have uh, one system here which is this one see so if you click that and then expand expand there you go so there's our system right so if you click that mechanical it will highlight now the system okay so another method to create a doc system, because this might uh, appear on your examination, is you can select first all the air terminals that you would like to be part of the system. So let's say, for example, so this is, these are the air terminals that you would like to be uh, part of the system. So instead of clicking one air terminal, which is what we did here, so we are going to select first all, all the air terminals. So we can use a Windows, oh, do not just simply drag like that because it will highlight or it will drag the whole model so what i'm gonna do just escape continuously and then i'm going to uncheck this one and then this one here turn off and then i think this face as well all right so we can use now the window selection like that without worrying uh dragging the other elements okay or another way, aside from using the window selection, you can click one of the air terminals and then you can hold control, click, 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 oops, select, hold control, click, 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 click. Okay, so you can also do that. And then again, same procedure, select here the duct to create the system. So you click that. So again, there's our system type, there's the system name, open the system browser so we can edit and uh, select the equipment that will supply to this air terminal. So I'm going to select here, OK. And then I'm now going to uh, select, uh, select equipment. So I'm not going to add any more air terminal to the system. So I'm just going to select select equipment and I'll select this equipment here. So you click that and there you go. And then finish editing system. There you have it. Okay, so it's now created. Now, the next thing that you'll be doing is I'm going to show you how to generate the layout automatically. Okay, so how to generate the layout. So I'm going to select one of the air terminals. And then from here, so you have the layout panel. So you can select here, generate layout. Okay, so additionally, you can also switch to the Doc Systems contextual tab to access the instance uh, type and properties. So instance properties of your supply diffuser. And then this is the type properties of your supply diffuser. Okay? So that's how you create your system. But do not uh, select the generate late, uh, layout. So that's not our topic. Our only topic here is learning how to create a doc system, which is not difficult, right? Okay, so let's say, for example, again, these air terminals here. I want to create a system for this and I want this equipment to supply this air terminal. So how to do that? Again, you can select all of the air terminals like that 
and then select here duct and then select here uh, open in system editor what if you do not uh, you did not check the system editor you just select here okay that's all right so while the air terminals are still selected you can still select here edit system or just quickly select here select equipment okay just click that one and then you can select this equipment let's say for example you escape okay and then you suddenly want to add this equipment to the system so what you do you just select one of the air terminal that is part of the system and then after that you select here dock systems just click that and then select here select equipment and then you click now the uh, mechanical equipment click there you go and then select here modify and again if you if you see now our system browser we now have three systems here right so that one and then we have this one and then we have this one here so you expand that you'll be able to see here the name of the system and then the air terminals that is part of the system all right so that's it for this simple uh, exercise of creating your dock system thank you for watching have a nice day